Pilot Uniforms, Tim Rosovich. And the ball game is underway. This is Bolden that has the ball at the five for UCLA coming out to the 15, down to 20. The six foot three inch reserve quarterback comes up to the 27 yard line where Ty Stelnes makes the tackle for the Trojans joined by Steve Swanson. So it will be Gary Beban, a great quarterback, a great leader, very poised under pressure, but now is in front of his team in a choir like huddle with the ball of his own 27, first and 10. Gary Beban is number 16. He has in the backfield Rick Purdy, a fullback 33. Dave Nuttall, 89, is a split into the far side, coming back into the set. Greg Jones to the near side. It is Rich Spindler's. We'll see Southern California today, Chris, in two different defensive alignments, a sort of a split six type front with the linebacker sitting inside the guards, we call an even set. And then also they'll be in an odd set. Five men, one man over the center, as they're going to be apparently on this particular snap. Greg Jones gained two yards on the play for UCLA. So we have a second down and eight with the ball at the UCLA 29. No score in the ball game. In motion is the fullback. Purdy and the pitch goes outside to Greg Jones. Jones gets very little running room by the Southern California defense led by Gary Magner, number 75. The up front right tackle for the Trojans. And let's see where the forward progress is stopped. At the 32, a gain of three yards. It'll be third down and five as we look at the offensive lineup from top to bottom for UCLA. We've heard so much about Gary Beban. I think uh, Greg Jones has been one of the boys that has been overlooked on that last run. I think all of you recognize that he too can sort of slip past tacklers and have a good shot at him. For the third down and five, the Bruins with the ball at their own 32. Here is Gary Beban hoping to throw and runs up the middle. Gets outside to the 35. He did not make enough for the first and 10. It'll be a fourth down and about two here at the Coliseum in Los Angeles. Uh, Johnny McKay believes that his defensive chances today rest on his two ends, uh, Rosovich and Gunn. If they can keep Beban inside, not let him get out around turning the corner, that they will be able to control the Ukraine offense. And now Andrew Shishin, a Ukrainian living in Canada, now in the United States as a javelin thrower first for UCLA and the number one punter in the country. This is UCLA's big weapon, and he gets one off the foot of beauty coming back to the 15. Mike Pantel coming out to the 20. The number four punt returner in the nation is Pantel at his own 22-yard line. So the Trojans, after a 50-yard punt for the nation's leader and only an eight-yard return, which you can figure is a 42 in net yardage, they have a first and 10. And the referee, Jack Springer, has spotted the ball at the Trojan 22-yard line. Offensively now for the Trojans, Steve Soggy, number 12 at quarterback. Dan Scott is the fullback. And watch for number 32, O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson gets the call. But I believe that time, Chris, uh, they had eight men on the line of scrimmage. I talked to John McKay before the game. He said they were going to use that set. It does break down the basic spacing in the defensive line because you have one more man there. Obviously, it gives you one more place to get a good blocking angle. Here they come. Let's see if they're in the same set, and yes, they are. Yes, they are, as O.J. Simpson got six yards on the play at second down and four for Southern California at their own 28. Soggy gives to Simpson again, who coming into this ball game in nine games had carried the ball or throwing it, which he can do, 241 times. Larry Agajanian, the left guard for UCLA on defense, made the tackle. The ball now is at the 25, a loss of three, so it's going to be a third down and seven here in Los Angeles. This is the Southern California lineup. Big, mobile, agile line is Earl McCullough, a speedster. is set out here to the near side. Soggy. There's McCullough, number 22, but the pass, as a result of a strong pass rush by UCLA, was short. So that brings up a fourth down and seven. Agajanian and Alan Clayman put the rush on Steve Soggy, the Trojan quarterback. That pattern will be used by US, uh, USC most of the time on their passes this afternoon. They will be faking to Simpson to try to freeze the linebackers and open up the deep secondary. Fourth down and seven, and Ricky Alden, or Mark Gustafson. Let's see, Mark Gustafson now is deep. As we look at uh, number 27, Ricky Aldrich. Gustafson at the 39. 
had two Southern California players missing, including number 22, Earl McCullough. But then it was Bob Klein, an offensive end who stopped US, UCLA rather, at their own 40-yard line. A 35-yard punt, no return. So on the exchange of punts, UCLA has gained five yards. So they now have the ball first and 10 at their own 40. There's no score in the ball game with approximately 12 minutes left in the first quarter. UCLA in the light blue and gold on the left. Nut all to the far side, number 89, the split end. In the slot is Busby. Notice how small the slot is to the near side. As Greg Jones tried to move outside, but keeping him pinned him then was Tim Rosevich along with Willard Scott, 88 and 71 for Southern California's defensive unit. As UCLA breaks the huddle this time, I believe if you'll watch their center and see if the Trojans have a man playing over him, you will be able to anticipate whether the shift will be to a wing back or a slot set. If it's an even set, no one over the center, they will shift normally to the slot if it's a man over the center to the wing. It's second down and 10, not all to the far side. Copeland to the near side, holds around on pass patterns, Beeman. Down the middle, intended for Dave Nuttall. Number 89, a senior end, a six-footer and 173, and he, I'm sure, wished that he were about 6'7 to try to bring that Beban pass out of the air. So it's going to be a third down and 10 now for the Bruins. To come into the ball game with seven victories and a tie. And for the University of Southern California, eight victories and one loss. That was last week to Oregon State. No score in the ball game, as we have that on the far side. Farmer, number 85, is to the near side, third and 10. Busby in the slot, here's Beban. And the Trojan defense is right there, covering the secondary well, and Jim Gunn, number 56, a sophomore, defensive right end, got Beban, threw him for a loss, back to the 35, so, it's going to be a fourth down and 15, and neither team but has been able to get out of their own territory. It takes a little while to uh, adjust to the defensive patterns that always are new for a game that has as much resting on it as this one. I'm sure that as the coaches from the press box get a look at these patterns, they will begin to move the ball better. Andrew Shishin is the punter. Mike Battle, as he did uh, only four plays ago, is back in single safety. This, he, the Battle gets it at the 22, comes out to the 25. Aggressive play on the part of both teams as the ball is down at approximately the 28-yard line from there. Southern California will get it following an Andrew Shushin 44-yard punt, the second that he has done in the ball game thus far. It's time out here at Memorial Coliseum in Los Angeles where the score is USC nothing, UCLA nothing. Along majestically high above the Memorial Coliseum is the Goodyear blimp, the Columbia. And from our ABC color camera in the blimp, this is the shot live and in color, showing you the vastness of this Coliseum, which was built for the 1932 Olympics and since has been the seat of the annual battle between USC and UCLA. The same is today. SC has the ball now, first and 10 of its own 48-yard line, and O.J. Simpson, who has carried the ball each time, may have gotten a yard on the play, or let's see, no gain at all, as he was stopped by Mike Cat Ballou, a sophomore linebacker. Simpson now, three carries, three yards. Gary Beban on the near sideline is warming up while his defensive unit hopes to contain the nation's number one rusher and the nation's number three ranked team, the Southern California Trojans, who now have a second and 10 at their own 28. No score as Steve Soggy, the quarterback, picks up a yard to the 29. It'll be third down and nine, bud. The defensive pattern being used by UCLA is new for this game. The last two snaps, they've been in a 5-3 you'll notice one of the ends coming over to the strong side, lining up directly opposite the tight end of Southern California. Prior to this game, they had been using a 4-4 defense throughout the season. McCullough goes to the far side. Number 22 is a flanker. It's an eye in the backfield. Bob Klein is flipped a little bit to the far side. McCullough is out. The pass is going in his direction, overthrown by the quarterback, Steve Sagi. So, it's a punting situation, fourth down and nine. Here at the Coliseum, we have no score, and we have approximately nine and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter of play. Ricky Aldrich now will punt once more. He's the boy that uh, does the extra point and field goal kicking for the Trojans. This is the fourth punt of the ball game. Mark Gustafson, number 26, awaits 
the Southern California punt. Out of bounds, and again, as a result of a short punt, UCLA comes forward as we look at a final score, and Yale is down Princeton. Third quarter, Minnesota in a big battle with Indiana for a right to play in the Rose Bowl against the winner here today. Tennessee, an impressive score over Mississippi. Clemson in North Carolina. Kansas, 10-7 over Oklahoma. So now let's watch the UCLA Bruins as they have the ball, first and 10, and they are in Southern California territory at the 47. First time today. Here's Gary Beaven. Rich Spindler, number 87, was the uh, target as the pass was short. Beban now has gone to the air for UCLA twice, and he is looking for his first completion. UCLA has uh, run off five plays on the ground for four net yards. So, from the 47 of Southern Cal, but it's second and 10. And great tribute to the defensive scouting of both of these ball clubs thus far. Dave Nuttall to the far side. Copeland to the near side. Nuttall, number 89. And UCLA has its first completion of the afternoon. Pat Cashman, the defensive halfback, covered on the play as we look at Nuttall. Slow motion of that last play. There's a uh, bootleg fake in the backfield. Uh, the fake was to the right of your screen. Beban rolling back to this side. It's perfect execution of the down at the sidelines and then spinning back into the field. You could see the double coverage just miss as the end was late getting there. Okay, bud, as UCLA shifts, they have the initial first down of the game. From the 35 of Southern California, this is Gary Beban, the quarterback, faking beautifully. Getting inside the 25. Number 50 is Adrian Young, the Dublin, Ireland-born linebacker for Southern California. As we see Beban here, he had bruised ribs coming into the ball game, and he may have been hurt once more. This is the basic play. Let's watch it in slow motion. It's the sweep run by the quarterback. Watch Purdy here. He hooks the end, but the end moved inside as Beban broke inside. Beban does read the block perfectly, and as he went down, he did pinch his rib. First and 10 now from the 24 with the new quarterback, Bill Bolden from San Diego, sophomore. Greg Jones carried the ball for the Bruins. No score in the game. We have approximately eight minutes remaining in the first quarter. That's Gary Beban of Redwood City, California, a super player, and his replacement is Bill Bolden. And on the last play, Tim Rosevich and Steve Swanson made the tackle. Well, Beban's injury is a little piece of loose cartilage between the ribs. There's nothing dangerous about it, but it does give you a very sharp pinch of pain if you get caught in just the right position. Bill Bolden, six foot three, an engineering major, has his work cut out now for him as Greg Jones off tackle. And inside the 15 of the Trojans. I've been waiting for UCLA to run up the middle, as I'm sure most of you had have been looking at the defense. Uh, Southern California daring them to run up the middle by playing both of their guards on the outside shoulder of the guards with linebackers behind them. Okay, but as Gary Beban now comes back into the lineup for UCLA, Bolden comes to the near sideline. This is a big play, third down and one for UCLA at the Southern California 15-yard line. Not all to the near side of the field. Short slot, Jones now moving back into the set. Busby to the far side as they go for the first down. Rick Purdy, the fullback at 208 pounds, gets the first down for UCLA, and it's number three for the Bruins. Nunyuk for the Trojans. Beban engineering a play, and now has the ball for the first and 10 at the Southern California 12-yard line. Coming into the ball game, number 85, Farmer, George Farmer. I believe he has a little better ability to block and also receive passes. Short slot to the far side. Here is Beban now, looking to hit number 89, Dave Nuttall. Jerry Shaw was covering Nuttall deep right near the five-yard line, and I'm wondering, uh, Gary just didn't take a lot of time and just threw the ball. As you can see, Chris, uh, he's pretty well covered here, and uh, I believe that Beban did not want to risk the interception, and he threw the ball just a little bit long because both men are right there on Nuttall. Nuttall to the far side. 
George Farmer in the slot now. And the give is to Greg Jones. Jones is in for a UCLA touchdown. Greg Jones scoring his sixth touchdown of the year, number 43. And let's look out of the gap. You see power sweep, Beban leading with Purdy. Watch Beban now down the field as he makes his block. Jones reading the block, breaking inside, sensing the goal line, turning on the speed, and getting all the way to the end zone before his knees hit the ground. The scoring came at six minutes remaining in the first quarter. UCLA leads six to nothing. Andrew Shishin is the kicker. Greg Jones, who scored the touchdown, is holding. The try for the point after is good. 47 yards and eight plays. A 12-yard touchdown by Greg Jones and a happy UCLA cheerleader as ABC and the NCAA combine to bring you all the thrills and festivities of college football. With timeout, the score is UCLA 7. USC nothing. And at the Memorial Coliseum in Los Angeles, UCLA has scored with six minutes remaining in the first quarter and with the point after they lead Southern California 7 to nothing. And put in your pregame show, you mentioned something about a defensive shift on the part of Southern California. Uh, they read the defense on the shift, Chris. That time, the rover man was moving to the bottom of your screen as you noticed the shift went strong to the top and that set up that sweep for the touchdown. O.J. Simpson is deep for the first time under a kick and it is a beauty by Andrew Sisson, the nation's top kicker. And O.J. Simpson, who was back there uh, with a little offensive strategy in mind on the part of John McKay, got one of those long boots and wisely did not try to run it out. But it's a touchback. And we have a first and 10 now for Southern California trailing by a touchdown and a point after. They'll have the ball first and 10 at their own 20. There is Andrew Shishin. And now Southern California with Earl McCullough to the far side. Eight strong men up front now as Simpson gets to the line of scrimmage and inches following that. Mark Gustafson, who is under kicks for UCLA, came up from his halfback position to make that play. As we look at the UCLA defense, which this year has been quick, they like to squirm and stun a lot as you look at them. The Southern California offensive team comes out. And we have Earl McCullough, a speedster, set to the near side. Again, eight men up front. The eye, and here is O.J. Orenthal James Simpson, number 32. Lepisto, number 80, made the play, joined by Mike Catbalu, the linebacker. Simpson now, five carries, my, no yards gained, coming into this game, averaging 150 yards a game, bud. And it appears that the off end is keying Simpson and going right with him man for man. We'll try to check that for you as the game progresses. Loss of a yard. It's third down and 11. Ron Drake to the far side. Steve Soggy looks for pass blocking. Dan Scott, the fullback, was the intended receiver. UCLA is in the lead 7 to nothing. We have approximately... Four minutes and 45 seconds remaining as Hal Griffin was in on Soggy. So it's another fourth down situation for the hapless Trojans thus far. And Ricky Aldridge is back around his own six yard line. And Gustafson is under the kick. Here is Aldridge coming into the game, averaging about 35 yards a punt. Gets that one off. Extremely well, forcing Gustafson back at his own 37, out to the 40, moving to the 45, midfield. They're in SC territory. UCLA with the ball, and we have a penalty flag down at the UCLA 48-yard line. Dick Allman, who centered the ball, made the tackle, following a 43-yard punt, a 15-yard return. Now let's wait for the signal by the referee, Jack Springer. A clipping penalty. Clipping and 15 yards against UCLA, leading in the ball game, seven to nothing. Four and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Timeout here at the Coliseum in Los Angeles, where the score is UCLA seven, USC nothing. The city that has grown vastly and is still growing. We're in the Los Angeles area, and here is the Memorial Coliseum where today the crosstown rivals UCLA and Southern California are battling. On the far side of the field, that is a Trojan cheerleader. 
And you can see the uh, type of weather that we're enjoying here today, shirt sleeves, 80 degrees. UCLA with the ball, it's on the 33-yard line, first and 10. Gary Beban. Beban, uh, who has the great ability to pick his spots and read where defensive players might be, runs into Jim Snow, the left linebacker, and uh, moves the ball out to the 38, bud. With the uh, big opening up the middle, Beban checked signals that time at the line of scrimmage, but the stunt by the linebacker moving into the middle shut him off for a relatively short gain. Greg Jones gets back out of the slot into a set behind Beban and gets the pitch immediately. But Pat Cashman, a senior from Long Beach, California, number 30, was not fooled by the play. Number 43, Greg Jones, 6'1", 185 pounds. The safest place to have them running the ball, of course, is up the middle, which accounts for that pattern of defense that's being used by Southern California most of the time. A third down and eight, and I noticed that uh, Andrew Shishin, Zen and Andrew Shishin, the punter is in and will possibly punt on thir third down. At least he's in that position as Mike Battle goes back around his own 25 with three and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter. UCLA in the lead, seven to nothing. Andrew Shishin's punt is low, spiraling as Battle gets it at the 25. Fakes one man. No, he didn't. And on the play for UCLA was number, it appeared to be number 84. A 40-yard punt, a two-yard return. So, University of Southern California now has the ball after a Dennis Murphy tackle at the Southern California 27-yard line. Following a third down punt, Steve Sagi is the quarterback. The tailback is O.J. Simpson. Slot formation with McCullough in the slot to the near side. And you saw a lot of light blue jerseys, UCLA jerseys, seeping through into the backfield of Southern California. That is, if you're watching in color, as you see, Cornell down Dartmouth, 24 to 21. The interior linebackers for UCLA, Manning and Ballou, will shoot the gaps as the defensive guards slant one way or the other. Let's watch them this time. Harvard down Brown, 21 to 6 here at 7 to nothing as we have a second down and eight. And O.J. Simpson gets one yard on the play. As you can see from the left of your screen, Ballou shooting through the open spot, got a wide open shot at Simpson behind the line of scrimmage. Ballou, back-to-back -back tackles by the left linebacker for UCLA. Don't yawn, it's too early in the game, honey. Undefeated Wyoming defends the longest winning streak in major college football tonight against the University of Texas at El Paso. Other key games, LSU, Mississippi State, Virginia, Tulane, Dayton, Toledo, and so on. Third down and seven now. Simpson was to the far side. Soggy hopes to throw. And the UCLA defense throws Southern California for a loss. Lepisto, Vic Lepisto, number 80, did the job, and the ball is marked at the 27, a loss of three, so it'll be fourth down and 10. USC has yet to gain any yardage on the ground or in the air. UCLA's total offense is 51 yards. This is Gustafson and now Ricky Aldridge, number 27, who will punt once again. We have two minutes remaining in the first quarter with UCLA leading 7 to nothing. Gustafson forced way back to his own 25. 30. Shoot top. Bit of uh, work by Earl McCullough. The wing back or flanker back for Southern California following a 47-yard punch. And Aldridge now becomes effective with his kicking, bud. If he can continue to kick that way, it certainly will aid field position for the Trojans. Thus far, they have not gotten the ball in an exchange in front of their own 30-yard line. It's been the 22, 20, 29, and 27. From the 34, UCLA with the ball, Beban with a flanker to the far side, split into the near side. Lost one out there to number 87, Rich Spindler. And his forward progress was stopped at about the 44-yard line. Now you're looking at the all-time leaders in total offense of the major colleges. Today, Gary Beban, who was in the number eight spot, has already passed Terry Baker. 
So now he can set his sights on the people ahead of him. And you never know that he might uh, catch Davis or Myra today. Spurrier, doubtful. However, what a player. 47 yard drive in eight plays with Jones scoring has put UCLA on top seven to nothing. First and ten from the 44. There's Jones for UCLA. Rick Purdy is the fullback. Jones is in the backfield along with Farmer. And the carry is up to the 49, a gain of five, so it'll be second down and five. We have a minute approximately remaining. Dave Nuttall to the far side. Greg Jones back uh, set behind his quarterback along with Purdy. Purdy comes out to block for Beaven. Does a good job. Jim Gunn, however, was in on the play. Let's take a look at the fullback block by Rick Purdy. Purdy is a uh, great blocker. As uh, Beban comes out, watch him look at the defensive end. Purdy blocks him, but he didn't feel that it was open inside. And even though the end is knocked down beautifully by Purdy, Beban is forced outside. And now as he turns up the field, of course, the defensive halfback will be there along with the pursuit men. And if he can't get turned up very quickly, it's tough for him to make yardage. Farmer in the slot to the far side. Nuttall going out on a pass pattern along with Farmer and out in the flat. Oh, an interception. And it's touchdown, Southern California. Pat Cashman, there he goes. If there are no flags on the play, there are none. <laughs> Pat Cashman. That pass, a dangerously thrown pass. Intended for Greg Jones, but Pat Cashman. A senior from Long Beach, California for the Trojans and are their fans happy. It is seven to six now. We throw the ball across the field and what we call that against the grain pattern because it's usually a rather isolated area. The receiver may be wide open, but if the defensive halfback is not pulled out of position by the fake and he does time the move, he can pick it off and it surely is a cheap, easy touchdown. And that was only the seventh interception. The seventh interception. Uh, UCLA this year. Time uh, for a reason down on the field. Let's see if it's perhaps uh, Ricky Aldridge who needs to tie his shoe before he tries the point after. Let's watch that touchdown by Cashman again. Watch Beban now as he fakes. His fake was to Jones, and then he turns and throws the ball back to Jones, but Cashman read it perfectly, came in, picked it off at the high point, and it's smooth and easy sailing to the end zone. A 35-yard Interception and touchdown run by Pat Cashman. The University of Southern California, which was unable to negotiate a first down, did it with their defense. Pat Cashman intercepted and well, he took care of things. Having uh, six points on the board, Chris, and no yardage gained makes the coach feel pretty happy. <laughs> it sure does. And as you pointed out, bud, you start with a defense and then you build a football team. So there it is, a great tie ball game here at Memorial Stadium. And Bud, I know that you're not disappointed in what has happened thus far. It's lived up to my expectations, and I'm sure that it will for all fans throughout the country. At the end of the first quarter, the score is USC 7, UCLA 7. Back again as Southern California following a 35-yard interception touchdown run by Pat Cashman of the defensive unit. We have a tie ball game as on the near side we have Bill Bolden, the reserve quarterback, and Mike Garrett on the far side awaiting Tim Rosevich's kick following the Trojan touchdown. Tie ball game, and this is the start of the second quarter. Garrett has the ball at the 10, the 15, the 20. 25, outside to the 30. A beautiful run back. Ty Solness of Anaheim, California. There goes number 30, Pat Cashman, out to uh, do some defensive work. And on the very last play, offensive play by Gary Beban, at the end of the uh, first quarter, he's the man that intercepted a flat pass and raced 35 yards. And with Aldridge's point after, it's a tie game. Now Gary Beban goes back to work. First and 10 in perfect field position at the 38. Not all to the far side. And Greg Jones carries the ball. From the 38-yard line, he moves out to the 43, so it'll be a second down and five. 
you want to watch number 80, the rover man for Southern California, Ty Solness, you'll be able to anticipate whether it's going to be an odd or an even defense. If he goes to the strong side of the UCLA formation, the wing back or slot back side, it will be odd. If he goes to the opposite side as he's doing now, it will be even. Erky Aga is the offensive center for UCLA, who along with Bima opened the hole for Jones on the previous play. But the Southern California defense, led by Gary Magner, number 75, was there. Rick Purdy carried the ball. Forward progress stopped at the 44, gain of two, so it's going to be a third down and three. The series record. USC winning the majority, as you see. But uh, Tommy Prothro has beaten John McKay the past two years in today, the battle for the Rose Bowl bid, national championship, and so on down the line. College football in its 99th year of excitement and color with timeout. The score is USC 7, UCLA 7, as we return to our studios for this message. It's not how long we make it. And here's how. New Super King Size Winston cigarettes made long with an extra measure of the famous good taste that has made Winston America's largest selling cigarette. Buy a pack of new Super King Size Winstons today. And now for you menthol smokers. Winston comes up with a fresh idea. A Winston menthol in the Super King Size. An extra long cigarette, and it's the best tasting yet. What a taste, what a combo. Winston and menthol, and in the super king size. Try new Winston menthol in the tall green and gold pack. Now a quick look at those other five games that we talked of uh, before the kickoff here. In the Ivy League, Yale has wrapped that up with a 29-7 victory over Princeton. And in the Big Ten, Minnesota has moved closer to the Rose Bowl by beating Indiana 33-7. Now back to this one. All right, it's UCLA, third down and three from their own 44. With a tie ball game, it was Pat Cashman who scored the touchdown. Possibly in estimating the uh, length of his run back, it was probably closer to 55 yards and 35, as we indicated a little earlier. So we'd like to make that correction right now. Beeman carrying the ball, his sixth time for 14 yards, and he uh, actually lost a yard there, bud. That last one was a perfect defense against the quarterback sweep or any sweep. The end stringing it out, making the ball carrier go around instead of letting him duck in and back out again. If they can continue to contain that play, they'll stop the basic play of the attack. Canadian Andrew Shishin punts as Mike Battle for Southern California gets it at the 14. Whoops, lost his footing. Bad break because it forces Southern California inside their own 15-yard line, 42-yard punt. The Oklahoma-Nebraska game makes exciting television uh, offering for Thanksgiving right here on ABC. But there are some traditional college classes you may want to see in person. Here they are. Texas is at Texas A&M. VMI meets Virginia Tech at Roanoke. And Villanova tangles with Toledo as we have Southern California with the ball now in a tie ball game. First and 10 at its own 13. Steve Soggy is the quarterback. And O.J. Simpson found some daylight and then was foul driven back to the 14 or 15. He fumbled the ball, Chris, but uh, very alertly another Southern California man, Scott, was there to make the recovery. Now you watch it in slow motion. We can see him. It's the first time he's seen any daylight. And he does turn it on inside. Watch him be hit now. By Cat Ballou. And Mike Ballou. Ballou lowers that boom. He's that <laughs> linebacker coming in for you. You can see Simpson in the air. Watch him get hit right here. Double team. There goes the ball. And it was recovered by Southern California. Back live, second down and 10 from uh, the 13. And Southern California gets across its own 15. We talked often, Chris, about where you must move the ball from a coach's standpoint. And it's right where Southern California is now. If they're forced to punt from here, UCLA will almost be in field goal range after the punt. Earl McCullough in the lineup now for Southern California, number 22, coming to the near side. Number 83, Ron Drake, is split. We have a third down and six play. Simpson nearly found a hole necessary to get big yardage. Floyd Reese. 
filling in for the UCLA defense. Next to stop at the 20-yard line. And for the Trojans, a punting situation, fourth down and three. The ball at their own 20. Ricky Aldridge is in the punt. Mark Gustafson is at his own 45. Gustafson at the 45, midfield into Southern California territory. 40, 35, 30. Cutting across, Gustafson is inside the Trojan 15. O.J. Simpson saved a touchdown for his team as we look at it in slow motion. It's a 37-yard uh, punt. Here he starts back down the field and watch his blockers now clean them out as he starts along the sidelines. He had speed enough to get outside of the pursuing lineman. Here's a beautiful block. Perfectly timed. It's not a clip. He did get his head in front of the hips. And Simpson made the tackle as it appeared he might break into the clear for the touchdown. Jones and Purdy set behind Gary Beban. And it's a pitch to Jones who couldn't hang on to it. But he did recover the loose ball. And it is a loss. Back to the 22-yard line, a loss of seven, second down, 17. And I think the play indicative of the tension of the game. It's a very simple toss. There's no option. It's simply turn, pivot, toss, and yet it was thrown just a little wild. Bill Hayhoe, 6'8", 254 pounds, who replaced Jim Gunn, who was shaken up earlier at defensive right end, uh, covered Jones on the play as UCLA now has a second and 17 from their from the Southern California 22 in a tie ball game, 7-7. Beaven. What poise. Beaven taking all the time in the world, going to the far side as George Farmer receives it, and they are inside the 14. There is a gain of eight, so it'll be third down and nine. Ty Solness made the play for the SC defense. 7-7. We have approximately 10 minutes and 45 seconds remaining in the first half. At halftime, both bands will perform. And you won't want to miss it. Dave Nuttall to the near side. Greg Jones was outside his own uh, right end, and he usually shifts for UCLA back into the backfield alongside Purdy. As we look at Gary Beaven, a reminder that college football, a pleasant and colorful way to spend an autumn afternoon. As we have a timeout, the score here is USC 7, UCLA 7. What's the problem, doctor? They're waiting for you at the hospital. I know, but I can't get my car started. Come on, I'll take you. Darn cold weather. You of all people, doctor. You ought to use that dry gasoline. What gasoline? Snow coal, dry gasoline. All went along, your car will start, like it's summertime. With Sunoco Tri Gasoline, all winter long, your car starts like it's summertime. Keep calling the no. They're moving to Sunoco. Well, Doctor, she gonna start? Sure is. Now that I use your dry gasoline, she starts... It's summertime. When you stop at Sunoco, you go with confidence. Another man on another planet, doesn't it? This telecast marks still another first for ABC. You're looking at the first handheld, completely portable color television camera to be used by any television network. It's called the Scrambler. This camera was developed through the combined efforts of ABC Engineering and the Ampex Company, and it will continue to permit us the flexibility necessary to bring you outstanding coverage of major sports events. The Scrambler, the handheld colored camera down on the sideline in this terrific game, which is tied up at 7-7. to -7. UCLA has a third down and nine, and here is Beban from the 14 of uh, Southern California. He's had to run to try to get back to the line of scrimmage. Did he make it? He brings a fourth down up. By Tony Terry and Bill Hayhoe. There you see Hayhoe, number 85. You can see the size of him. 6'8", 254 pounds. Great defensive adjustment that time by Southern California. UCLA had uh, two flankered men to the same side and then shook his hat back to that. Quick men. Zenon Andrew Shishin, who has kicked 11 field goals this year, a vital man on the UCLA attack. 
is going to try one now from the 22 plus the 10 yards of the end zone 32 yards and the game is still tied here in California. No good. That was one that threw the left. 32 yard attempt. No good. As we look at Coach John McKay, his seventh season with the USC Trojans, has certainly done a fine job. And there is Andrew Shishan, number 51, and Coach Tommy Prothro of UCLA. So it's a touchback. First and 10 now for USC with Steve Saugate quarterback from their own 20 yard line. On reverse, this is Earl McCullough, a speedster. He's up to the 40. And a loose ball. Earl McCullough on a reverse comes around, makes good yardage. The ball squirted out. Mike Scarpace covered it, though, for the Trojans. And it's a 73-yard effort. All of the fake coming this way, as you can see. The UCLA linebacker's shot opened it up perfectly. It appears that he's in the clear. Manning comes across, pulls him down, and as he hits the ground now, he drops the ball. But Scarpace, as every good football player should, pursued it and made the vital recovery. Live now, first and ten for the Trojans from the UCLA 28. As O.J. Simpson being keyed on today. And uh, defensively brilliant by UCLA. And Mike Ballou, along with Larry Agajanian, number 72, on the right, who incidentally is the son of Ben Agajanian. If Simpson will continue to fake as well over the ball as he did on that previous play, Chris, uh, he'll mean a great deal to his team, even though he himself may not make a great deal of yardage. Okay, bud, we have approximately nine minutes remaining in the first half. The score is tied, seven to seven. NCAA college division football is played by more than 400 colleges and universities throughout the United States. On December 9th and 16th, the NCAA and ABC Television will take pleasure in presenting to television viewers in the areas of their greatest interest the College Division Regional Championships of 1967. On the 9th, the Mideast title will be decided in the Grantland Rice Bowl at Murfreesboro, Tennessee, while the same day in Sacramento, California, the Pacific Coast Championship will be settled in the Camellia Bowl. The following Saturday, the Atlantic Coast title goes on the line and to the winner at the Tangerine Bowl in Orlando, Florida, while Midwest honors will be contested at Abilene, Texas, where the Pecan Bowl is played. If your local ABC station is scheduled for an NCAA College Division game December 9th or 16th, tune in, won't you? You'll see some very fine football. We hope you're enjoying this game live and in color from the West Coast. As we look at number 32, the nation's number one rusher, O.J. Simpson, a tailback, a surefire All-American who came to this game averaging 150 yards, nine touchdowns, and had thrown for three touchdown passes. As Oklahoma comes from behind to down Kansas 14 to 10. Simpson today has carried nine times for seven yards. It's a second down and 10 for the Trojans. Steve Soggy fakes a handoff to Simpson who blocks and the pass is complete to McCullough. Simpson did a nifty job at protecting Soggy while McCullough was seeping through to the 15. Watch the play in slow motion here. McCullough starting down the field. Great faking in the backfield that you can't see. It looked like he was trying to run a streak pattern, but as the second halfback moved back, that's Gustafson. McCullough hooks, and here comes that perfectly thrown ball drilled at the numbers. The second first down and the first completion by SC as Simpson now gets the ball, moving from the UCLA 15 on a first down play. You see Ballou, you see quite a few of the UC UCLA men, Larry Agajanian and Floyd Reese. A final, Michigan, downing Wisconsin and Purdue continuing to win against Michigan State today. From the 13-yard line for Southern California, it is a second down and eight. Tie ball game, and they are in UCLA territory. Steve Soggy. Simpson. There's his brilliance. 13 yards. Touchdown. I couldn't see any daylight, but he could. A tremendously gifted athlete. Number 32, O.J. Simpson. The block thrown by Steve Lamer. Number 68. 
and it's 13 yards to Pater. And Coach Tommy Prothrow realizes now that his UCLA Bruins have lost the lead as a result of Simpson. Ricky Aldrich, well, soggy holding, will try the point after. 13-7, USC leading UCLA. About eight minutes left in the first half. It's good, the kick. Slow motion of the last play, and look at it carefully, bud. You young football players can watch this one. It gives you an idea of how a great ball carrier moves. He turns upfield behind his blocking, and then lights that afterburner. Defense pursuing, but they can't quite get to him. He sees that goal line and watch those legs stride for it. He's got that extra burst of speed, a great balance, foot on the ground as he's hit, and his determination carries him into the end zone. A truly remarkable run. O.J. Simpson, 28 yards, four plays, as McCullough returned a kick beautifully, some 52 yards. Here is Simpson being uh, hit on the back by one of his teammates. So it's going to be UCLA receiving this kick that comes from Tim Rosovich. We have Bolden to the near side, Garrett to the far side. 14-7, Southern California leads UCLA. UCLA receiving the ball now. It's Garrett in the end zone, and Bill Bolden probably said just as well not to bring it out. So UCLA. Undefeated this year, tied by Oregon State, however, has the ball first and 10 at its own 20. Tommy Prothrow mentioned that uh, in half the games that they have played this year, their opponents scored the first time they had the ball, and they've been behind at some time in five of the eight games. So while you never are comfortable when that scoreboard's against you, I'm sure that they, having been there before, will not lose their poise. Not all is the split end of the far side. Greg Jones moving from the slot, but the slot to the near side. Farmer in it as Jones gets the call from Gary Beban. You see number 85 on the ground in the Scarlet uh, USC jersey. That was Bill Hayhoe, joined by Willard Scott on the tackle. The UCLA bench. And that is being shown to you by the Scrambler. First time ever used in television. Our exclusive handheld color camera, Gary Beban now. Second down and seven, the ball at the 23. Their own 23. Greg Jones and Tim Rosovich collide. Number 88. I could feel that up here. I could too, and we're a long way from the field, bud, but that was one of those where you saw several parts of the body going in different directions. He had a wide open look at it, and as he turned up, he was right there moving just as fast as the ball carrier. Three yard gain, however. Third down and four. Not all to the far side, Beban. Puts a slot to the near side. Steve Stanley, who was in the slot, number 38, was stopped by Pat Cashman. And it's a first and, down, first and 10, rather, for UCLA, number five for the Bruins. SC has two, but Southern California leads 14-7. It's a very difficult uh, play to stop. Beban is such a threat on the quarterback sweep that the linebacker almost must force the play. That leaves the flat open as the wide man goes deep. Stanley in the slot to the far side to give it to Jones. Purdy blocking on the play as Rasevich from his defensive end position joined by Gary Magner. Jones has carried the ball now nine times for 17 yards. Jones did score from 12 yards for UCLA, capping a 47-yard march at six minutes of the first quarter. And then Pat Cashman, at the end of the first period, approximately, he raced about 50 yards, 52 yards, with an interception on Beban to tie the ball game up. And Simpson has scored, putting USC ahead. Here's Beban who can throw long, the bomb is going its way. Complete, Dave Nuttall. That ball was in the air. Almost 60 yards. That's correct, Chris, here's Nuttall watching. It's simply a streak pattern down the field. The faking in the backfield, of course, getting him open. Beban had the ball in the air about 60 yards, and he threw a strike, as you can see. 47 yards was the gain 
And there you see Bill Juroncic, number 41, making the stop. And now UCLA threatening to tie it up as Beeman has the ball at the 15 of Southern California first down. Let's watch. And there is Pat Cashman. He was having a big day with an interception and a touchdown run off of it. Mike Battle patting him on the back, number 17. And the ball comes back to the 20, a loss of five. So for UCLA, it's second and 15. And Beban shaken up on the play. Second time in the game, bud. Those ribs uh, will bother him from time to time as he gets stung. But I think that he will be able to bounce back each time after he's had a moment's respite. Bill Bolden, number 18, replaces Beban at quarterback. Second and 15 from the SC 20. This boy can run and seemed very cool under pressure. Intended for Dave Nuttall. That's the hardest thing for a quarterback to do, Chris, to be rushed back there, start to make his move, and still be able to see downfield well enough to throw the ball if it appears that someone is open. You have to have a good feel of the line of scrimmage and where you are on the field. He certainly indicated on that play that he does possess that quality. Adrian Young made the play defensively for Southern California. So now it's going to be a third down and 15 with SC leading UCLA 14 to 7. We have approximately five minutes remaining in the first half. Farmer is split to the far side. The SC defense was waiting for Greg Jones. Tim Rosovich also in on the play. Number 55, Jimmy Snow. I don't believe that uh, Southern California will move as rapidly to the outside with Bolden as they do with Beaton. That time, they didn't leave that opening up the middle. Okay, bud, there's Andrew Shishin. Zenon Andrew Shishin, number 51, Jones holding. They missed on a 32-yarder earlier in the ball game. This one will be from the 27 plus the 10 yards of the end zone, 37 yards. And let's see. Do we have a delay of the game? If so, it'll be five yards pushing UCLA back farther. We have three, uh, four and a half minutes remaining in the first half. And incidentally, Andrew Shishin has kicked a 52-yard field goal this year. Narrowly missed one from 57. Now he's going to have to try to boot one from 47 yards because of the penalty. The spot of the kick is at 37, and again repeating, 10 yards of the end zone. Make it 42 yards. Lock. Jones carrying the ball. Jones back to the Southern California 42 where he's met by Ralph Oliver and Pat Cashman, bud. John McKay felt that as great a kicker as Andrew Shishin is, the ball does go off on a rather low trajectory, so he has overloaded the defense to the bottom of your screen. You can see his beautiful kicking form here, but you can see the ball take off on that low trajectory, and that overloaded left side did come across it was Oliver, I believe, yes, who blocked the kick. Ralph Oliver blocking the kick from 42 yards. It's time out here at Memorial Coliseum in Los Angeles where the score is Southern California 14, UCLA 7. So Coliseum, which is jam-packed today, 93,751. They have streamlined this ancient and classic bowl to seat 93,751, where at one time it would seat 100,000. Now Southern California from their own 42 with a first and 10. Steve Soggy on a keeper. Beautiful faking play by the men of Troy. Mark Gustafson made the stop. And the run by Steve Soggy, the quarterback, brings the ball to the 46 of UCLA. That was a 12-yard gain, the third first down for Southern California in the ball game. yet they lead 14 to 7. Earl McCullough to the far side, high formation in the backfield. O.J. Simpson to the 40 of UCLA. Vic Lepisto making the stop for UCLA. Remember to stay tuned today for a great halftime. You'll be seeing the UCLA band and the 
Southern California Trojan Band. Also, we'll be bringing you all the scores of today's top football game. Simpson, 30 yards and 12 carries today. The to second down and about four. Soggy. Knocked down. Tenant for Klein, knocked down by Vic Lepisto. We pause now five seconds to allow our local stations to identify themselves. We mentioned a little earlier, of course, uh, right here in Hollywood, uh, many of the stars are here watching the game today. And at halftime, uh, Andy Williams will be performing, so we hope you'll Enjoy the two bands and Andy. Earl McCullough to the near side now on a third and four. Soggy trying to get the necessary yardage for the first down, and it's close, but it's not enough. So it'll be a fourth down as Kim Griffith made the play for UCLA. It's quite obvious in watching the UCLA defense that the straight ahead plays will be difficult for Southern Cal because of the keying of the linebackers, Ballou and Manning. However, the misdirection with the good fakes has opened up for long gainers for the Trojans. Fourth down, Ricky Aldrich is punting for the sixth time for his team as Gustafson just looked at the ball going out of bounds and a fine, effective punt. On the part of Ricky Aldrich of Southern California, Although it travel only 29 yards, it does put UCLA back at its own 11-yard line, first and 10. There you see the time remaining. It's coming up to the two-minute mark. 14-7, USC leading UCLA as Gary Beban is back in the ball game, shaking off his second bruise of the afternoon as Dave Nuttall is set to the far side from the 11-yard line, first down. Jones, Gary Magner, number 75, and Ralph Oliver on the play defensively for SC. When they leave the middle is apparently open, as Southern California is doing, it's a tremendous temptation on the part of the quarterback to keep running plays in there, but the linebackers or the tackles are moving with the snap of the ball to the inside and closing off that apparent big gap that you see. Okay, Bud Wilkinson, second and 10 from the 11, UCLA with the ball. Great pursuit. Snow is 55 for Southern California. Rick Purdy carrying the ball in the play, and he moves it out to the 15 for a pickup of four, so it'll be third down and six. A minute and 20 seconds remaining in the first half. The Trojans of Southern California lead UCLA 14 to seven. Third and six. Dave Nuttall is the potential receiver to the far side. Oh, an open set now. As Jones carries it, finds the hole, and gets the first down for UCLA with time of factor now here near the end of the first half. By the time uh, Beaven had finished shifting, it became a single wing set. Jones ran it like an experienced single wing tailback. During 1968, ABC Sports will bring to you sports viewers the most comprehensive lineup of sports events ever presented by a television network. In February, the pageantry and color of the Olympics. In October, same year, 1968, the biggest event in the world, the Summer Olympic Games. Now you add to this exclusive coverage of NCAA college football, NBA basketball, and professional bowlers tour, the American sportsmen, an outstanding group of specials and bowl games, and of course, the blue chip prestige golf tournaments, such as the United States Open, the PGA, the British Open, the PGA Tour, all of it on ABC. Last but not certainly, least, you'll continue to see 52 weeks of the most distinguished sports series on television, the award-winning ABC's The Wide World of Sports. Time left, 54 seconds on the huge clock at the somewhat open end of the Memorial Coliseum in Los Angeles, but the score is 14 to 7, Chris, but uh, UCLA has dominated play. They've rushed 29 times past 10 and snapped a total of 39 plays. Uh, Southern California has only made 26 snaps. Southern Cal has made 109 yards, UCLA 144. Tommy Prothro in the hat. Gary Beaven now with a first and 10 following a 14-yard gain at his own 29. 
14-7, closing uh, seconds of the first half. Even looking. Beautiful play to Rich Spindler. Spindler is across midfield. Adrian Young makes the play. And what helped make it go was Ron Copeland, who went very deep and quickly lining up now from the 47 of SC with a first and 10. 30 seconds to go in the first half. A pass out in the flat to Nuttall. Couldn't hang on to it. Stevens' total offense now today is 121 yards. So we'll have a second down and 10 for UCLA at the 47 of Southern California. Time left. 25 or 6 seconds in the first half. Beban calling signals. Ron Copeland, a hurdler, is to the far side. His first year of ever playing football. Here's Beban. Copeland on the move. There he is. Copeland has it. Whoops. He did not retain possession long enough for a completion. Bill Juransic really followed him. He went up in the air, Chris, uh, hoping that he could catch the ball and come down, pivoting. Unfortunately, he was thinking more about pivoting than the ball, apparently. Gary Beban now has thrown 12 times. He's completed six for 109 yards. This is the third and 10 play with about 21 seconds remaining in the first half. SC leading the team with the ball, 14-7. UCLA loading one out, overthrown to Rich Spindler, number 87. Fourth down and 10, bud. That pattern remains open as Beban starts his sweep action, whether it's the sweep or the rollout pass, the linebacker is shooting, letting the flat man be open, and he will be able to hit him as the game goes along. Well, now we have a fourth and 10 with about 17 seconds left in the first half. UCLA in possession. <clears throat> They'll be going for it here on, or will they? Well, let's watch. It's a slot to the near side with a flanker opposite. Jones now back in a set position along with Purdy. Here's Beeman giving to Jones. Jones may get through the hole. Jones is inside the 40, where he is stopped by Tim Rusevich. And it doesn't appear that it's enough yardage for the first down as Murphy and Slagle made the hole holding on downs, Southern California. We have about 10 seconds remaining in the first half as SC's defense has come through for coach John McKay, holding UCLA, and now probably have uh, one opportunity to just run out the clock. Soggy, a late arrival in the Trojan huddle, trying to decide whether to run it out or go for the big one. Well, we perhaps could have a bomb. We've got two potential, three receivers. Drake to the far side, McCullough to the near side. And with Simpson also in the slot position, the draw was the call to Dan Scott. Time has expired. Remember, that's only the first half. Not all to the near side. In the slot, it's Drake Jones who comes back now. Farmer in the slot to the far side. Beban looking. Beban long to Copeland. Correction, Farmer. And UCLA is on the board. 53 yards. George Farmer, who had come in replacing Stanley. And Beban. Complete a 53-yard play. Once again, the fake in the backfield setting it up, Chris. Beautiful fake by Beeman. And a great throw. And now, Andrew Sheshin can tie it up. He does! After two minutes and ten seconds of play here in the second half, and the first time they had the ball, UCLA has tied it up. I hope you enjoyed the halftime here, and I know you enjoyed the last play. If you have a timeout, Memorial Coliseum in Los Angeles to score USC 14, UCLA 14. It happens.
The first time they got the ball, UCLA scored on the second play. There goes Farmer, Bud, and Beban's pass will be perfect. Simply a streak pattern, Chris, from the slot set. Looks awfully easy when he's that open. And Gary Beban now, with 5,118 career yards, is in sixth place, just seven yards behind George Myra. As O.J. Simpson has the ball for Southern California on an Andrew Session kick. Simpson looking for running room and is upended hard at the 23-yard line. So Southern California will get the ball first and 10. And the referee, Jack Springer, has spotted it at the 23 as Mark Gustafson makes the tackle. On open field tackles of that kind, we speak about you've got to be on your base defensively, which means lower your center of gravity so you can move either way. Gustafson executed it to perfection. Possible national championship, a Rose Bowl bid, all this at stake. As Southern California has been tied up, O.J. Simpson trying to break free, gets to the 26, a gain of three. So it'll be a second and seven. Final Syracuse downing Boston College. We look at the Southern California offensive unit, which includes Mike Taylor, Steve Lermer, Dick Allman, the center, Mike Scarpace, and Ron Yari. Two fine All-American linemen, along with Bob Miller. While in the backfield, it's Soggy, O.J. Simpson, Dan Scott, and Earl McCullough. Second down and seven for the Trojans from their own 26. Here is Steve Soggy flooding the zone to the near side. But the receivers were not open. And a loss tacked on by Alan Clayman. Number 62, a senior defensive tackle from Los Angeles, a pre-med student. Well, if all his operations in the future are that successful, he's going to be a good one. The pursuit on the rollout by UCLA has been exceptional. Their linebackers shooting the gaps are finding daylight, and they're forcing the passer deeper than he wants to be. Okay. A loss of eight yards, so it'll be third down and 15 for SC. This is Soggy from his own 18-yard line. Let's see if we have a delay. Jack Springer, the referee, Tony Amato, the umpire, Tom Cross, the head linesman. Delay of the game, five yards against SC. The first penalty against SC. UCLA had been penalized 20 yards and the ever-burning Olympic torch. Here at uh, the near end of the Coliseum is our camera from the Goodyear Blimp shows it to you. Ron Drake to the near side. Third down and 20. Simpson. And there is what Tommy Crowthrow and his staff were trying to do, limit O.J. Simpson to a minimum of yardage, not more than 10 or 15, not those all-the-way six-pointers. That play was indicative of how dangerous he is with extreme long yardage. They were playing a little bit loosely instead of moving at Simpson with the snap, which gave him the running room he needed. Fourth and 11, so Ricky Aldrich will punt to Mark Gustafson of UCLA. And UCLA will get the ball for the second time here in the second half. And Mark Gustafson is hit hard by two Trojans. Ah, uh, yes. 38-yard punt. Bob Miller made the play for SC, and now UCLA has field position at its own 48-yard line. First down in a tie ball game, the game of the year. Dave Nuttall is the split into the far side, even a quarterback. And uh, a leading candidate for the Heisman Trophy. Carries on the play. Running into Gary Magner. And let's see what the call will be by the official. Holding against UCLA. And there is Adrian Young, number 50, born in Dublin, and who did so well against the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame in helping Southern California to win one of its eight victories of the year. Still a conference going on, and you can see 50, Adrian Young. And uh, now we'll get the decision on what he chose to do. I think he wanted to move it back out of 
<laughs> proximity to field goal range. Right. Beeman was shaken up on that last play, so Bill Bolden apparently has got to go to work again as we look at UCLA's uh, performance of the year. The discussion there, Chris, the penalty is from the point of the foul. The holding occurred downfield, so Bolden wanted to be sure that he had the exact yardage. It's first down and 18. Here's Bill Bolden. Intended for George Farmer, who scored the last UCLA touchdown, and Mike Battle, number 17, was in on it defensively for SC. When you have an opening as clean as the touchdown was to Farmer, you always want to test it and see if it's still there. <laughs> Can't wait. We have about 10 minutes and 10 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Coming into the lineup is Stanley, along with Bolden, you see him there, number 18. The remain in there is Bevan's bruised ribs, sustained last week, have now for the third time caused him trouble. Second down and 17. That was Rick Purdy, the fullback, who had slipped out of the backfield. And Bolden moving to his left through what appeared to be a pretty fine pass. And there is Beban. Linebackers Ralph Oliver and Jim Snow covered on the play. And Beban is in pain. If you've ever had that cartilage. It's a little tough in your ribs. You know how sharp and excruciating the pain can be, but it does pass quickly. Back to punt now is Zenon Andrew Sheshin. Averaging 44 yards, gets one up in the air. Mike Battle at his own 18-yard line, coming to the 20, 25. Hurdling to his own 30. So USC gets the ball for the third time here in the second half. High ball game, 14-14, as John Urquiaga, the offensive center, made the tackle following a 41-yard punt. Let's call it the 30. And right now, a timeout has been called here at the stadium in Los Angeles, California, with the score, USC 14, UCLA 14. We return to our studios for this message. This little demonstration is strictly for smokers who've never tasted a Camel cigarette. Camel smokers, you know what we mean. I'd walk a mile for a Camel. You other guys, start walking. Where will it all end? Lots of cigarettes are going to great lengths for a little extra flavor. New Camel filters haven't had to. Our real tobacco taste satisfies longer without being longer. After all, the name is Camel. New Camel filters. With all the flavor you could ask for in a filter cigarette. Right? Right. Vanderbilt 35, Navy 35, a final score. Here at the Memorial Coliseum in Los Angeles, on a perfect day for just about anything, we have a tie game. UCLA 14, USC 14. UCLA tying it up after two minutes and 10 seconds of the third quarter on a 53-yard play, Beban to Farmer. Right now, we have a quarterback change for the Southern California Trojans. Toby Page of Santa Ana, California, replaced Steve Soggy. Page number 15 with a first and 10 from the 30. There you see uh, Ron Yari, 77, and number 74, Mike Taylor. There is Toby Page as Hal Griffin makes the play for UCLA. With the ball at the 32 for SC, it'll be a second down and eight. Tie game, 14 all. Toby Page. Earl McCullough, a flanker back to the near side of the field. UCLA, three-yard loss. Back on the quarterback. By Floyd Reese, the linebacker, shooting the gap, blitzing. 
So from the 29, it'll be a third down and 11, bud. The fake by Simpson was well executed, but I believe that UCLA was playing man-to-man -man in the secondary, and they had both pass receivers perfectly covered. Very wise on the part of Page not to try to throw the ball. Page is out of the lineup now. Steve Soggy comes in on a third down and 11. Number 12 handing off to O.J. Simpson. O.J. fails to get the first down correction. It was Earl McCullough. Ribbon, ribbon. McCullough number 22, ribbon, Simpson 32. Ribbon, so it's going to be a fourth down, and with the ball at the 33, it'll be fourth and seven, bud. It's the mark of a fine football team to make adjustments to the plays that have hurt you. The first time that reverse was run, McCullough went 73 yards on it. The Bruins have tightened that spot by adjusting the charge at the end. Ricky Aldrich about to punt. Bad pass. It is partially blocked, and UCLA fighting for the ball has it in Southern California territory at about the 47 of 14 with the ball spotted at the 47 a 15 yard punt. Willie Smith blocked it for UCLA and Andy Herrera fell on it so let's see what the Bruins can do and is that Gary Beban calling signals. Gary Beaven is back in now from the 46, 47 rather, of SC. Rick Purdy, the fullback. John Urquiaga. Quick play, I believe, Murphy. coming up here. It sure is a quick play. And a weird one. Beban over to Greg Jones. Well, bud, a little razzle-dazzle. The idea there, Chris, of course, is that uh, if the defensive team is careless, they will go into their defensive huddle, and you'll have them entirely outflanked. Beban was the center that time, simply tossing the ball out. Southern California, however, sensed something wrong. They did not go into the tight defensive huddle that they're in right now, as you can see it on the right part of their screen. They kept the field covered and stopped the play. To show you the pursuit, there were seven men that stopped the play for Southern California. So it's third down now. Third down at about three for UCLA. Dave Nuttall is split to the far side. Farmer in the slot. Beban looking for Nuttall. Good hands. Dave Nuttall, the leading receiver for UCLA, grabs it. And it's a first down. Nuttall is starting down here. It's the inside break. You can see him breaking to the inside. The linebacker pursuing too far to the outside, and Beaven did drill that one in as perfectly as it's possible to do. And Beaven moves ahead of George Myra, all-time career total, total offense. Now is only 167 yards behind Steve Spurrier. From the 21-yard line, UCLA sends Greg Jones to the 17 of Southern California. Willard Scott and Bill Hayhoe made the stop. Here is UCLA's record with Gary Beban, 23, three and one. He is a winner. Second down and six for Beban. With the ball at the 17 of the Trojans. High score, 14 all. Six minutes remaining in the third quarter. Copeland is to the near side, number 88. Not all is opposite. Beban looking for Copeland in the end zone, covered. And Bill Hayhoe throws Beban for a loss to the 36, 19-yard loss. It'll be third down at 25. Once again, great end play by Southern California. Play being strung out by Griffin and uh, end keeping leverage from the far side, turning on the speed to hit Beban as he tried to reverse his field. In the last eight years, the Pacific Eight Conference has enjoyed tremendous success in the national championship competition. Conference schools collected five national titles last year and have captured 33 collegiate athletic championships since 1959. Third and 25. There's a hole and Greg Jones goes through it to the SC 28. It's going to be a fourth down. Adrian Young, number 50, one of the tri-captains of SC, made the play. And we have a fourth down and 17. And Zinnan Andrew Session comes in. He gets his third 
try here, Chris. I think if you notice at the top of your screen, the overloading uh, by Southern California to try to get the low trajectory kick block. 47 yard attempt. It is blocked. The holder, Jones, has it. He gets a block. Bill Hayhoe, at six feet, eight inches tall, blocked the field goal attempt by UCLA, and Andrew Shashen is 0 for 3. Saturday afternoons in the fall mean colorful college football on ABC. With timeout, the score is USC 14, UCLA 14. They're winning big in sunny dollars at Sunoco. J. Reed Jarrett won $1,000. Isaac A. Walter won $1,000. June McReynolds won $100. Yes, they're winning at Sunoco. Hundreds of thousands of Sunny Dollars winners so far. And how about this? Sunoco has boosted the Sunny Dollars jackpot to $3 million in cash prizes. So come on in and win up to $1,000. It's easy wherever you see this sign. Here are more recent Sunny Dollars winners. They're winning, they're winning in the new Sunny Dollars game. They're playing at Sunoco, winning at Sunoco. In the Goodyear blimp, this is the shot of the Los Angeles Coliseum where we have a tie ball game going 14 to 14. And it'll be SC taking the ball first and 10, and they'll have it from their own 26. And there is the Columbia. Southern California with Toby Page at quarterback, giving to O.J. Simpson, number 32. And the carry comes across the 30-yard line, out to the 32. 16 carries for Simpson, 46 yards. As we have approximately four minutes and 10 seconds remaining in the third quarter, McCullough comes to this side of the field on a second down and four from their own 32. The Trojans with the ball. And it appears that Southern California has another first down, four of them thus far in the game. UCLA has nine, blocking Mike Taylor and Steve Lermer. As we look at number 15, Toby Page, the quarterback, and McCullough, 22. Earl McCullough comes to this side of the field from, let's call it the 40, of SC. The nation's number one rusher, showing you why he has those staggering statistics. This slow motion shot of Simpson will give you some idea of how a real ball carrier operates. He got good blocking as he went past the line of scrimmage, and this is what he's learned to do as the season has progressed. Take that break to the outside to pick up that extra yardage. We showed it in the pregame show. Here the halfback is turning him in very well. That's Herrera. Looks like he's going to break this tackle, but it slowed him up just enough to allow the next defender to come across and make the stop for UCLA. Hats off to Bob Klein, number 84, who in the process of that 18-yard play did some beautiful blocking for O.J. Simpson. On the two previous downs, uh, UCLA had been in their even defense. That pattern is a little bit easier to trap, and uh, they'd broken Simpson on two successive traps. The last play, UCLA went to their odd set to stop the trap. And, uh, we had a perfect call, of course, off tackle against the odd set. Simpson now has carried the ball 18 times for 70 yards. He has scored one of the two Trojan touchdowns. And in a game that uh, everyone thought would be marked by a lot of field goal kicking, well, we've had three by Andrew Shishin, and he has had two blocked here today and missed one. And he has missed his last seven attempts. So it's probably like a hitter, bud. You occasionally uh, 
just have a little trouble finding the range and uh, getting the timing correct. Well, when the kick is blocked, Chris, you can't really criticize anyone except the team pattern. All right, SC from the 42 of UCLA, Toby Page. Hey. That was an interesting play as uh, Page had Simpson and McCullough floating to the far side of the field and on the keeper got three yards to the 39. Floyd Reese on the tackle and there is a surprising final. TCU downs Texas 24 to 17. And it remains a surprising season. Yes, it does. Second down and seven. Simpson inside the 35 to the 34. It'll be a third and two. On the previous play, Chris, Don Manning came off the field. It looked as though he had jammed up his shoulder. He is an outstanding linebacker. If he cannot return, it will weaken the defense of UCLA. With two minutes and 15 seconds remaining in the third quarter, SC has controlled the ball, 14 plays to UCLA, seven. Now a third and two as McCullough comes to this side of the field. Page at quarterback. He did not make the first down. Hey. Missed it. Uh, well, he just actually got uh, near the line of scrimmage, and that was about it. As Alan Clayman and Kim Griffith made the play for UCLA. It's been spotted now at the 33. And it'll be a fourth down and uh, more than a yard. Just a little more than a yard. The Valley came in, Chris. We may get this eight-man line this time. All right. O'Malley number 73 up front. We do have an eight-man line. Only Beban and Scott and Simpson behind him. And Toby Page had the right play at the right time. First down. UCLA adjusted very well to the eight-man offensive line by moving everyone up and having every inside slot covered. But as you said, Chris Page took it out around, which is always a good thing to do on short yardage. So now the ball is at the 29 of UCLA, and SC has a first and 10 with approximately a minute and 10 seconds remaining in the third quarter. It begins to darken here on the West Coast. Having a fine drive going, they want to stop here, Chris, get their plans very well set, get everyone fresh so that they will be able possibly to bring this thing into a touchdown and put themselves ahead. Well, yes, in football, there's always a lot of scrambling to get the yardage. And we have a newly developed camera with us here today for the first time on television on any network. It is called the Scrambler. Developed by ABC Engineering and the Ampex Company, this scrambler is showing you this shot. And there is uh, the weapon itself. ABC Sports, with the continued excellent support and creativity of ABC Engineering, is the first to use black and white, color slow motion, and stop action replay. And of course, ABC was also the originator of the isolated camera technique. The first to employ cameras underwater Ampex Company, we salute you for coming up with this innovation. Toby Page now for USC has a first and ten at the UCLA 29. It's a tie ball game, 14 all. Page to Simpson. But a moment ago mentioned uh, Manning, the linebacker, and we just received word that uh, he has broken a finger, bud, in this tough action. You never can afford to lose uh, a great football player, Chris, and uh, the percentage that it hurts you doesn't appear to be too great, but the difference in the ability to execute with coordination always drops some 3 to 5 percent, and in a game like this, of course, that can make the difference. Looking at the back of Tommy Prothrow, his opponents have the ball. Bob Klein is in it in, number 84. Page, the quarterback, on a second down and nine. Simpson. We had the eight-man line that time, Chris, but uh, O'Malley couldn't decide which side to go to. <laughs> Alan Clayman, one of the two that made the tackle along with Hal Griffin. So with the ball at the 28, it's a third down and nine. Approximately five seconds remaining in the third quarter. 14 all. 
Now Miller replaces Klein. At the end of the third quarter, here at Memorial Coliseum in Los Angeles, California, the score is USC 14, UCLA 14. period about to get underway in this battle for a Rose Bowl bid the national championship the game that has everything as Southern California with a third down and nine from the UCLA 28 Toby Page has a pass intercepted uh, the UCLA defense lost and picked up again by Andy Herrera number 20 Toby Page Throwing the ball for Southern Cal and Bud, UCLA gets an opportunity now, and I think we ought to look at it again. He appeared to be open as Page delivered the ball, but the defender, Herrera, was watching now as he starts downfield. Breaking on the sideline cut, and there's Herrera moving right in front of him perfectly, fumbling the ball, going back to get it, and then he picked up some good blocks here down the sidelines. Gary Beban, the quarterback, First and 10 from the 35. And he may have another first down as the pass is completed to Rich Spindler, who battled for it, number 87, in the blue and gold of the Bruins. Tim Rosovich on the tackle. Gary Beaven has moved his club up to the 46-yard line. Tenth first down for the Bruins. George Farmer comes into the UCLA lineup. Number 85 is Gwen Cooper. Number 86 goes to the sideline. Farmer <laughs> is a flanker to the far side. Jones and Purdy set behind Beaven. <laughs> Dave Nuttall got his hand on it and a fine defensive play by Pat Cashman, who early in the game intercepted a Beaven pass and ran it back for a touchdown for SC. He kept perfect uh, deep position, Chris. Did not get drawn over to the sidelines until the ball was actually in the air. The pass was so deep down the field, he could uh, do that and still get to the ball the way an outfielder plays his sideline. Don Manning has his broken finger tight. He played defense a moment ago for UCLA as the offensive team now has the ball. On a second down and 10, it's complete to Dave Nuttall at the SC 38. One of the best catches of the season, Chris. He was open across the middle. The ball was slightly low. He dove for it, got his hands under it. Miraculous catch. So now UCLA from the 38-yard line of Southern California with a first and 10. Biba now has completed 10 of 18 for 198 yards. Farmer is the flanker to the far side. Short pass to Greg Jones. Jones, who this year had received uh, only seven passes coming into the ball game, is stopped by Terry and Cashman. Once again, Chris, that second man out into the flat pattern off the sprint out being open because the linebacker is shooting during Birbin's run. A measurement now necessary to determine whether it's a first down. Tom Cross, the head linesman, coming in for the measurement. Gary Beeman, number 16, looking things over. Probably the leading candidate for the Heisman Trophy. He's just been a super player, a super student here at UCLA in Westwood. And his team, with his direction, have picked up their 12th first down. USC has six. The play begins right there in the huddle, Chris. The quarterback controlling the team at that point as he calls the signals, and Beban does it beautifully. First and 10 from the 28. Jones with Beban blocking. Jim Snow and on the play as we look at Traveler 3. The USC mascot. Line of scrimmage is the 24 of SC. 
And it'll be a second down and six. Stevens' total offense today, 223 yards. And we have a timeout at the Coliseum in Los Angeles with the score, USC 14, UCLA 14. Christmas 1967 and Goodyear presents a new record album, The Great Songs of Christmas, starring Barbara Streisand, Tony Bennett, Sally Ann Howes, Robert Goulet, Steve Lawrence, the new Christy Minstrels, the Cleveland Symphony Orchestra, George Sell conductor, Brothers Four, Diane Carroll, John Davidson, the Harry Simeon Chorale, Jerry Vale, all in album seven of the great songs of Christmas. 20 selections in a long playing album. Just one dollar at your Goodyear service store and most Goodyear dealers. Nothing else to buy, but hurry, it's a limited edition. In a battle down to the wire here at Memorial Coliseum, you see the vast surrounding area, the Los Angeles metropolitan area, and here is the Coliseum. 93,751. Tickets sold a long time ago for this game. Over 200 uh, newsmen here, 200 photographers. There were people out here this morning at 6 o'clock trying to get into the ball game as UCLA in a tie game has a second down and six. And Beaven gives to his fullback friend, Rick Purdy of Los Angeles. There are two boys that uh, are roommates on the road when they travel. And uh, last night, Bud and I, I had the pleasure of bumping into their two dads, who are pretty proud fathers of Beaven and Purdy. And perhaps more nervous about the game than their sons. They certainly were. And so now from the 21, it'll be a third down and three. 14 all the score with 12 minutes remaining in the ball game. Farmer is the flanker back to the far side. Not all is the split end to the near side. Beaven. There's not all. Touchdown UCLA. A 65 yard march capped by a 21 yard touchdown pass and run. Beaven to number 89, Dave Nuttall. And with 11 minutes and 40 seconds left in the game, UCLA gets the lead. The fifth touchdown this year for Dave Nuttall. And now, Andrew Sheshen will try the point after with Greg Jones holding. And it is no good. So the score remains 20 to 14, and let's again look at Beban hitting Nuttall for the touchdown. Nuttall is flankered. Beban was rolling away from him. Now Nuttall breaks across the middle. The linebackers were shooting. One of them moved to the outside there with the crossing back. He was wide open as he caught the ball, and then he does some fancy running here. Watch him cut back. One USC man fell over the other one. And when he saw that goal line, he was determined to get into it. And following the touchdown, UCLA tried to point after on a high pass from center, probably contributed to the fact that Andrew Sheshin missed it. And that could be a big factor because now UCLA only has a six point lead with 11 minutes and 40 seconds left in the game. It'll be Andrew Sheshin doing the kicking following the Farmer touchdown. O.J. Simpson is deep, number 32. And he's determined. Soccer style kicking of Andrew Sheshin and the fleet footed running now may be on display by Simpson at the five, the 10, 15. He's up to the 20 now, has room to the 25, 30, pulling away and sheer second effort. Brings him out to the 34 yard line. So Southern California has the ball at its own 34 first down. They trail by six points. Pearson made the stop on O.J. Simpson. Total offense now thus far in the game. UCLA with 303 yards. USC 163. Toby Page will direct the attack. Number 15 for Southern California. 
McCullough, Dan Scott, and O.J. Simpson in the backfield. McCullough flanked to the far side. Bob Miller splits lightly to the near side from his own 34, Page. He just carries people with him. Simpson. Blocking with Steve Lammer as we look at Coach Tommy Prothrow. Simpson now, 22 carries, 80 yards. The ball is at the 37, second down and seven for Southern California. The Rose Bowl bid, bud, is at stake. Everything that they fought for all year coming down to the wire now, Chris, in these final minutes. Bob Miller to the far side, second and seven, Page. And a pair of UCLA tacklers Ken Griffith, number 91, and number 26, Mark Gustafson, finally get page number 15. And let's see where he was forced out. At the 36-yard line, a four-yard gain will be third down and three for the Trojans, and this is Gary Beban. Keeping warm on the near sideline, Ron Drake is split to the far side. McCullough, number 22, is a wing back to the near side. They need three yards. First down and more. There's Simpson. Look at that cut. O.J. Simpson. That's all she wrote. 64 yards. 64 thrilling, captivating collegiate football yards. And let's look at that one again. Wow. I don't recall seeing anybody that can turn it on like this boy, Chris. There he is past the line of scrimmage. Watch him read his box downfield now. There's that fast break to the outside. Now he hesitates just a little bit. And as he turns back across the field here, he goes much further than the UCLA defenders, but he's so much faster, it makes no difference. 64 yards. And we've got, again, a tie game. And now Ricky Aldrich. We pointed out that the missed point after by Andrew Session for UCLA. This is the boy that can put his team ahead. It's up and good. USC forges to the front. Excitement, color, and tradition every Saturday on NCAA College Football. The time out here, the score is Southern California 21. UCLA 20. Men, how would you like to join my team? The Naxima team. The world's best shaped men all belong. We have a cheer on the Naxima team. Take it off, take it off, take it all off. Sis, boom, ba, Naxima. <laughs> Our cheer and take it off with Noxima Medicaid to cheer. Closer you shake. is the man that raced 64 yards from his own 36 to the UCLA end zone and with Aldrich's point after now Southern California leads 21 to 20 we've had a touchdown by each team in a matter of one minute so tell your friends not to go away Tim Rosevich will boot and back we have Garrett and Bolden it is Bolden the reserve quarterback for UCLA that is down hemmed in at his own 13 Mike battle at the bottom of the pile number 17 and John Blanch so UCLA the last time they had the ball they scored on a 21 yard beauty Beban to not all one of the worst errors from a coaching standpoint is to ever see a kick hit the ground that was one of those fluttering balls however that sort of died the way a good fading pitch will do. It did hit the ground. Consequently, UCLA did not get the return organized, and they are in bad field position deep in their own territory. 
Bolden was hurt. Beban is in at quarterback. Gary Beban from his own 14 finds Dave Nuttall. And Pat Cashman was on the tackle, number 30, in the scarlet and gold for the Trojans. 21 to 20. SC is in the lead. Nuttall again starting down the field, uh, either faking in the backfield, pulled the linebackers in. Nuttall is wide open on the sidelines. Very easy first down for UCLA. Beban now has thrown 21 times, completing 13 for 240 yards. The last touchdown was to Nuttall. Now it's a first and 10 from the 29-yard line. Here's Beban. And another strike to Nuttall, number 89. Covering was number 55, Jim Snow and Sandy Durko. I know you wonder how Nuttall gets open so consistently, but he's got speed enough to drive the defenders back, and the faking that Beban is doing in the backfield is pulling the linebackers in. A pair of first downs has the team trailing by a point in SC territory at the 49. First and 10, Copeland, a speedster to the far side. And Beban avoided one tackler, Tony Terry, and then lost his balance and was stopped by Jim Gunn, who is back in the SC defensive lineup. Almost intuition. He obviously couldn't see the rush, Chris, but he sort of fell in and ducked quickly enough to avoid the first man. It is a five-yard loss, so it'll be second down and 15 for UCLA. 14 of 22. Beban, the UCLA star, Simpson, the star, a superstar for Southern California. Right now, the defense of SC, which is actually not too big, but they're smart and agile. They find Beban for a loss back to the 37, a loss of nine. It'll be third and 24. A change of pattern on defense by Southern California. Rushing only four men, keeping their linebackers back to cover over the middle. Beban, of course, not wanting to risk the interception, held the ball. Exceptional defensive end play again by Rasovich and Gunn. And now on a third down at 24, Sinan Andrusheshev is in the punt. Mike Battle is in single safety. Andrusheshev with a beauty to the 19. And good kick coverage on the part of UCLA. George Farmer forced Battle out of bounds following a 43-yard punt. And now SC fans are going wild on the far side. Their team is in the lead, 21 to 20, with eight minutes and 20 seconds remaining in this ball game. And the field position factor being vital to Southern California here, they must move the ball out to back UCLA up against their goal line if they surrender possession. Toby Page at quarterback from his own 21, first down. O.J. Simpson. He's so fast, Chris, he can get right behind the blockers and have control enough to slide off them either way. Watch him here as he follows his blockers. See him ready to cut to either side and then having speed enough as he sees that little bit of daylight to go past on either side. Early in the ball game, he had very few yards, but now, as the afternoon wears on, he's carried it 24 times for 169 yards, a seven-yard average. First and 10. And the fullback, Dan Scott, who has been playing a blocking role all afternoon, carries that ball into UCLA territory to about the 33. But Excellent trap blocking that time, Chris. The linebackers shooting, trying to stop the wide play, getting a little bit too deep and being picked off on the trap. 38 is Scott, 32 is O.J. Simpson. That's off to Dick Allman, the offensive center, who blocked on the play. So now from the 33, another SC first down. Simpson. Vince Bischoff, number 64, one of the uh, tacklers along with Reese, number 74. There's Simpson, Simpson number 32. And uh, on the opposite side of the fence, when they're 
Moving the ball, number 16, Gary Beban. Second down and seven from the 30 of UCLA. Dan Scott for a yard. It'll be third and six. A seesaw battle here at the Coliseum before 93,751. UCLA went to the lead. Pat Cashman tied it up with an interception and touchdown run. Then O.J. Simpson put the Trojans back on top. And it was then Beban to Farmer. And then in one minute, both teams scored a touchdown here in the final quarters. We have a timeout now at the Coliseum in Los Angeles where the score is U.S. Impact Afternoon. We hope you are enjoying it. Southern California rushing 255 yards. UCLA 262 yards passing. Now Southern California has only 16 yards in the air. UCLA 72 yards rushing. There you see the Coliseum from our ABC color camera and the Goodyear blimp as Toby Page now has a third down and six for SC from the UCLA 29. About six minutes to go in the ball game. Simpson. The eight man line again that time with the option play being run Chris. But the Bruins have made a good adjustment to that pattern by bringing up one more man to avoid leaving the opening that is created by one more man than usual on the line of scrimmage. There uh, gives you an idea of what O.J. Simpson has done here today and what he has done throughout this year. A tremendous year for this junior from San Francisco, California, number 32. So it's going to be a fourth down and six for Southern California. And UCLA, I believe, has taken a timeout. They had three remaining. Southern California had only, uh, it appeared, one left. During 1968, ABC Sports will bring you sports viewers the most exciting lineup of sports events ever presented by a television network. Starting in February from Grenoble, France, the beauty, the pageantry of the Winter Olympics. In October 1968, live color coverage of the greatest sports event in the world, the Summer Olympic Games. Now add to this NCAA college football exclusively, Exclusive NBA basketball, the professional bowlers tour, the American sportsman, a group of outstanding special and bowl games, and the blue chip prestige golf tournaments like the U.S. Open, the PGA, the British Open, and the tour, and we start with the Bing Crosby in January. All this on ABC plus Wide World of Sports. Now, here is a 46-yard field goal attempt by Ricky Aldrich. It is short and wide. A 46-yard attempt, no good, on fourth and six. And USC, leading by one, now relinquishes the ball to UCLA with approximately five minutes and 45 seconds left in the game. Gary Beban now. Calling signals to his 10 teammates with the ball on the 20. And I'm sure Tommy Prothro and all UCLA fans believe that he's the man that can get the job done. Ron Copeland to the far side, Nuttall to the near side, and the single man in the backfield on a double wing formation was Rick Purdy, who carried for perhaps a yard. There is Don Manning, the defensive captain, number 50, with his uh, the broken fingers on his left hand. He, he's been playing defense. That's the desire. He had a new pattern of defense that time by Southern California. They went into a 6-1 set, which leaves Solness, their rover man, free to shoot. Dave Nuttall on the near side. Farmer is the flanker back to the far side on second and nine. Beban. Look out. Jim Gunn, number 56, and Jim Snow, number 55, come up with a big defensive play for SC. Once again, those ends, by refusing to let Beban outside, have controlled the UCLA attack. A loss of 19 yards, so it'll be third down and 28. Beban now has 12 rushes today with minus 45 yards net. 21-20, USC leads. Four and a half minutes left in the game, and third down and 28 for UCLA at their own goal line. Beban carried on the play 
Tony Terry and Jim Gunn make the stop. What he was trying to do there was get three more yards out on the field so that his kicker could get back deep enough in the end zone to not be pressed on the punt and also have, of course, no danger of stepping on the end line to create a safety. And this is the time when UCLA fans hope that Andrew Sheshin can really boom one as Mike Battle, we're looking at him now, number 17, is in single safety for Southern California. Andrew Sheshin's boot coming out to the 47-yard line. Battle has it. Now going upfield, and Battle, who is number four in the country on punt returns, is down at the 43. UCLA takes over there following this 44-yard punt. Dennis Murphy on the tackle. Three and a half minutes left in the game. This is the first time since the game began that Southern California has gotten the ball on its change across midfield. Their best previous position was their own 42-yard line. Toby Page at quarterback. McCullough is the wing at the bottom of your screen with Scott and O.J. Simpson. Scott blocking Simpson carrying to the 35. About eight yards. Don Manning on the tackle. Simpson now with 185 yards in the game. Puck is running. We have three minutes and 15 seconds to go. USC leading by one. 21 to 20 as we look at Beban and the Bruins on the sideline. Their defensive unit is at work. Second down and two. Toby Page going for the two yards. Gets a block from Allman, the center. And Scarface, first down. It'll be interesting, Chris, to see how close USC can come to using up the full 25 seconds between each play. The referee just dropped his hand, and I'll keep track of the second. Southern Cal has one timeout remaining. UCLA has two. Two minutes and 40 seconds left in the ball game. Toby Page now with a first and 10. From the 32, gives it to Simpson. They got the ball off that time in 21 Simpson seconds, Chris, which is good timing. Ron Yuri made the block up front. And the ball is now at the 28-yard line, where it'll be second down and six. Thanksgiving Day, don't forget, Oklahoma, Nebraska, on ABC, coast to coast, live and in color. Earl McCullough now, flanked at the right of your screen, number 22. Set in the backfield, Simpson and Scott. They need six yards. And Scott, keeping it on the ground, trying to run out that clock as we have one minute and 55 seconds left in the game. You know, the Pacific Eight Conference and the University of Southern California will play host to the nation's top collegiate basketball teams in the 1968 NCAA Championship Finals at the Los Angeles Sports Arena on March 22nd and 23rd. So now it's a third down play with the ball at the 24. It's a third down and a little more than two yards, nearly three. Page, number 15. Hey. Minute and a half to go. Page on the keeper. It's first down and ball control for the men of Troy. UCLA has two timeouts remaining, Chris. They'll have to use them soon. About a minute and 10 seconds to go in this thriller from Los Angeles. Timeout here at the Coliseum in Los Angeles where the score is USC 21, UCLA 20. And now we return to our studios for this message. Yes, sir. A man can get real comfortable with Carter Hall. The comfortable tobacco. Carter Hall smokes comfortably mild, smooth tasting, pipeful after pipeful, with a comfortable, pleasing aroma. Mm, that's nice. That's Carter Hall. Get real comfortable. Get Carter Hall, the comfortable tobacco. Meet new Super King size signal with the extra length that refreshes your taste a few moments longer. And aren't you glad? Just a few moments more to make friends with the neighbor's dog. Or to rinse out a few things. Here's the one menthol taste worth making longer. New Super King size signal refreshes your taste a few moments longer. From the Goodyear blimp, the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, packed to capacity, there is the Columbia, 
shooting those shots live and in color. And today, with 10 cameras covering this game, you'll have to agree is one of the finest games ever. As SC now has a minute and 10 seconds to control the ball with the first and 10 at the UCLA 20. They lead by one point, 21 to 20. Toby Page, number 15. And is it a loose ball? Let's see. It is, and UCLA recovers. Just a little over anxiousness, Chris. Toby Page pulled away just before the ball was snapped. He didn't make the exchange. And what a break for UCLA. As we look at the clock, about a minute and nine seconds. That's unofficial. And UCLA's Gary Beban now has the ball at his own 21. UCLA has one timeout left. And if you wonder why coaches get gray, you're calling the safest play in the game and you fumble. And both Tommy Prothrow and John McKay have grayed at an early age, like my colleague Bud Wilkinson and Bill Fleming. I've done a little of it myself. Afternoons like this will add more. Copeland to the far side now. That was Gary Beeman, and let's see what the call will be. Tim Rosovich barreling through. Beeman was thrown for a three yard loss. The ball comes back to the uh, 18. That is a two-yard, negative three-yard loss. Second down, 13. Here's Beaven. And now trying to get out of bounds, and also the catch was Ron Copeland. He succeeded in both cases. So the clock is stopped with, oh, maybe 43 seconds left in the ball game. And the team that has the ball trails by a point in the game that will decide who will play in the Rose Bowl against the Big Ten champion. The national championship is at stake. The number one team in the country, and there is their coach. They have the ball with a third down and about seven. It's complete out to the 40 and falling forward to the 43 with about 35 seconds to go. Ron Copeland. There'll First no, down. No huddle here, Chris. And UCLA wishes the referee would get off the ball to let them snap it. There's Gary Beeman throwing one over in the direction of George Farmer. And a flag goes down. And let's see if the intentional grounding will be tacked on UCLA. We'll check the official, Jack Springer, the referee. Intentional grounding of a forward pass brings the ball back to the 37-yard line. And the clock starts. And it is a loss of a down, too. So it's second down now and about 15. And Beban swarmed by Jim Gunn, number 56, and time has expired. And the University of Southern California Trojans have met the...